This video is called Collecting Data, Using Graphs to Present Data. Our objective for this lesson is we will use graphs to present data that we have collected and we will identify three types of graphs. A graph is a way to show and compare information. So when we're collecting things, say you want to find out how many green skittles there are in several bags or how many how many of your friends made hit home runs during the baseball season we can present that information using a graph and there are three types of graphs that we want to know today first one is a line plot second one is a bar graph and the third one is a picture graph what you have here is this is a line plot a line plot is a graph on a number line the X's above the number shows how many pieces of data apply to that number in the graph. So if you look at the graph that we have here on the screen, this graph's titled Books Read by Students. It's, uh, each graph needs a title. And down below it says Number of Books. And you can see that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what that means is uh, some students read one book, some students read two books, some students read three books, four books, and five books. Each one of these X's stands for a student. So you can see here from looking at this, if we're looking at the graph about the number of books that students read, you can see that uh, there were three students who read one book. There were two students who read two books. There were three students that read three books. One student read four books. And then this is a very, uh, very literary class. They, uh, we have four students who read five books. There's lots of different things that we can do with this information, but for right now, uh, that's, that's what we want to focus on. So this is a line plot, and it, it, it helps us to record information on a number line. All right, this type of graph that you see here, this is a bar graph. A bar graph uses bars of different lengths to present and compare data. The numbers along the side of the graph are called a scale, and this helps show how, much, how many each bar represents. This particular graph is called Types of Trees in the Park. So I imagine somebody went out and counted the trees in the park, and then they put it into a bar graph. And you can see the scale goes to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Um, and down at the bottom they have the oak trees, the pine trees, and the maple trees. And if you look at this graph and use the scale, you can see that the person who made this graph saw six oak trees, they saw four pine trees, and they saw eight maple trees. They use those bars to help them figure it out. If and we'll, if they wanted to um, represent a number that wasn't on the graph, that wasn't on the scale, say 5 or 7, then that bar would have only gone halfway up. So it would have been in between, if it was 5, it would have been in between the 4 and the 6. This graph that you see here, this is called a picture graph. A picture graph uses symbols to present and compare data. A picture graph has a key. If you look down at the bottom, you can see the key there. It tells you, the key tells how many of each kind the symbol represents. So in this particular graph, if you look at the key, it says that each one of those circles equals two baskets. So if we look, this graph is called baskets of apples picked. We have Maurice, Megan, Matthew, and Nicole and they each recorded how many baskets they picked. And next to Maurice, you see that there are uh, four of those red circles. And so if you look at it, you might think, hmm, Maurice picked four baskets of apples. But then if you look at the key, it tells you that each one of those circles is worth two baskets. So in reality, Mar Maurice didn't just pick four baskets. He picked two, four, six, eight baskets. And Nicole, who was uh, very busy, she's got six circles there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Each one of those circles or each one of those balls represents two baskets. So in reality, Nicole would have picked 12 baskets of apples. All right, let's review very quickly. Uh, there are three types of graphs that we looked at. A line plot, remember a line plot graphs data on a number line. A bar graph, a bar graph is one that uses bars and a picture graph. A uh, line plot is a graph on a number line that uses X's to show how many pieces of data there are. A bar graph uses bars of different lengths to represent and compare the data. And a picture graph uses symbols to represent and compare the data. Uh, if you want to get other videos and ideas, this is particularly for teachers and parents, you can visit um, 
Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade dot blogspot dot com. And to find more third grade math activities, please visit teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash Jonathan Pearson. And this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.